Assalamualaikum. My name is Nayan Mankani and I'm representing premed.pk today. And today with me, I have Ahmed Shahid. I am currently am second year medical student at the Aga Khan University and Ahmed is a first year medical student at Dow Medical College. So today we'll be talking about the AQ admission process and how one should go about passing the AQ test, the interview and the MD cap. So today we are joining the AQ three first year medical students, Alien, Iman and Taha. Thank you so much for taking out time today and we'll make sure to keep it brief but try to cover all the points regarding the AQ admission process. So our first question is... Yeah, so our first question would be about the eligibility criteria of AKU. So if you guys want to touch upon that, just a few brief points. Sure. So to apply to AQ, you firstly have to clear the national requirement which is basically you need to pass your MD card exam as well. Besides that, if you're an FSC student, then there's a certain percentage that's mentioned on the website which you need to pass. And besides that, if you're an A-level student, then you need to have three Bs, those being in bio, chemistry, and then either math or physics. Um, yes, uh, after that, there is, uh, when you clear the AQ test, there's something called the stage two form in which you write out all your extracurriculars and then there's an interview process uh, in which they end up selecting around 100 candidates. So basically, our national anti-cat is done, after that, you have an AQ test. We will talk about the details of the pattern, but you have to pass both the national anti-cat and the AQ test to qualify for the, uh, for the interview process and after that, you perform. Right. Yeah, so there are around 100 seats for AQ, right? Yes, yeah, so for each batch and how many applicants are there? On so the number thing is every year, but in our year, which was 2021, so there were 6,000 applicants there. But this year, I have heard that 7,000 applicants are And out of those, um, there's a certain threshold for the test. So there's 350 or 400 tuck students get in for their interview. And this phase two, like the was mentioning. And then after that, there's 100 final seats for your MBBS program. It's right of competition. That is Indeed. So uh, I think the AQ test this year is on the 24th of July and we have a lot of messages on pre-med that how should one go about preparing for the test. So I want to ask can you please cover a few points about the AQ test pattern and what sessions it has and how um, one should go about it. Sure, so the test ke pattern, ke baat kare, toh, there's two major sections. Um, one being a science section and the other is your reasoning section. Hota hai. Science can you have 20 MCQs for biology, 20 for chemistry, 20 for physics. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that you have negative marking. Hoti hai. So for every four questions you get wrong, you get one mark deducted. So when you're going for a guess, you might want to keep that in mind. Um, reasoning section, ki baat kare, you have math reasoning. Um, in that, you have O level or HSC level math. And then besides that, you have your scientific reasoning which is mostly the case-based um, questions that come in and they're from all three sciences as well as a bit of math involved. Makes sense. Uh, also, I wanted to add that there is uh, no calculator in the test mm -hmm. and so most of the questions are usually uh, in the math section, they're like mental math or things you can solve on the spot. Uh, so the science reasoning one, so it's like an ambiguous uh, section because there isn't any clear defined Clavis, right? So the reason that I would at least suggest that AQ has a section is to see if whether or not you're able to think on the spot itself and whether you're able to use information. If there is a case that you have, you can dissect the information from it. You can formulas apply it to it or you can solve numerical based questions. Hai, usko solve kar so if you look at A-level questions, so they're similar to that. But just that they're more mind-boggling and you have to think a bit more on them. That right. is also the reason why we have more time for those questions. It's like critical thinking, I like sure. all that. Also, just one more thing, uh, you have to like pass both of the sections individually. A science section you have to pass and math and science reasoning. So just to add on, the two portions have a fixed phone on the threshold. Fixed mass new. Basically, jo bhi, uh, according to the performance of all the students, a threshold jo hai, wo, um, AQ wale hai. and whoever gets more than that uh, percentile will pass. Ho jata. And dono pass kar hai. Like, dono mein, wo threshold se hai, mass ho so, you mentioned that you have to pass the AQ test. So, can you talk a bit about, you know, that you don't have to score the AQ test in uh, number one score kare, number two score. Kare. I think I personally know a few people who literally passed the score, the test by I think a couple of just pointers and they still got in. So, it's necessary that you 
अब परफॉर्म एक्सेल कर रहे हो इस पेपर में या फिर एनी थिंग वर्क यहाँ पे बिल्कुल थ्रेश होल्ड वाले भी होते हैं और वो भी होते हैं जो टॉप भी कर रहे होते हैं एंड देन आफ्टर वर्ड लाइक जो इंटरव्यू होता है उसमें भी दे डोंट सी के आपके कितने मार्क्स हैं दैट्स बेसिकली हाउ यू परफॉर्म इन द इंटरव्यू एंड आपके जो एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर्स हैं वो स्टेज पे फॉर्म हो जाता है राइट इसमें टू आई वांट थिंक के बेसिकली आई अंडरस्टैंड के जस्ट पास करना होता है बट स्टिल देयर इज समथिंग दैट यू गिव योर ऑल इन एंड यू ट्राई योर बेस्ट नंबरलेस सो दैट यू डोंट हैव एनी रिग्रेट्स बाद में आके सो अपना जितना ट्राई कर सकते हो डोंट ओवर स्ट्रेस योरसेल्फ दैट इज ऑलवेज अ गिवन कि बर्न आउट नहीं हो जाओ खुद को जो है आइसोलेट नहीं कर दो कीप योर लाइफ गोइंग मगर सिमिलरली जितना कर सकते हो जितनी अच्छी तैयारी कर सकते हो द मोर प्रिपेयर्ड यू आर द बेटर यू स्कोर एंड दैट इज इंक्रीज योर चांसेस बिकॉज़ आई आल्सो नो अ फ्यू पीपल जिन का डेसिमल डेसिमल से रह जाते हैं एंड दे गेट रेड फॉर देयर होल लाइफ सो दैट इज नॉट समथिंग दैट यू वांट टू डू सो गिव योर बेस्ट एंड सी हाउ इट गोस और हाउ डू यू एक्चुअली प्रिपेयर फॉर द टेस्ट लाइक यू हैव मेंशन ऑल द सब्जेक्ट्स एंड व्हाट कम्स इन टेस्ट सो हाउ डू यू प्रिफर व्हिच रिसोर्स डू यू यूज ऑन ऑल ऑफ दैट Okay, so uh, while preparing for the test, uh, AQ has the syllabus on its web website, which is the Punjab Board syllabus. Uh, but as someone put it, like it is uh, the these are like from the entry syllabus, but the questions are very analytical. So that's why some people say that A level students might have an advantage. Um, yeah. And, so, uh, and the resources that you can use, I think they could be AQ Education Board past papers. They could be uh, MCQs from the federal books themselves. Or Punjab Board books. Uh, what else? So yeah. there's two major umbrellas that I would put it into. So one's like the textbooks that you're mentioning. So in there, most people usually go for the Punjab Board, ki jo FSC ki books in class eleven and twelve. Yeah. Or some people also opt for the federal board ki book because they find that easier to comprehend. Um, besides that, the other umbrella is your past papers class. So I also use this website called Premen. So here pe you have explanations for every single question there, and our seniors also. Are the ones who have contributed to the website and made it better. Besides that, like Iman said, the QEB ke past papers and but then some other resources that you may want to use is perhaps even the end of chapter questions that you find in these books, the Punjab Board ki book hai, Federal Board ki book hai. Those might be helpful. So whatever stimulates your mind, think test your concept well enough. उसके लिए क्या है practicing class. Uh, just to add, के जो है AQEB क्योंकि जो सवाल वो होता है थोड़े से एनालिटिकल होता है तो उसके लिए मैनी पीपल प्रिफर एस ए डी के क्वेश्चन उससे जो है बेसिकली आपको थिंकिंग प्रोसेस बढ़ता है एंड दोज आर रियली लाइक क्लोज टू द इक्यू टेस्ट सो यू कैन डेफिनेटली ट्राई दोज क्वेश्चन प्रैक्टिस क्वेश्चन एंड अगर उसके साथ आपको पढ़ना हो एस ए डी तो यू कैन चूज दैट एज वेल लेकिन क्वेश्चन पहले ट्राई कर लें एंड इफ यू आर एबल टू डू दोज टू री ट्रेड there are two sat papers right so there's one sat 1 and the other one is sat 2 so what we're talking about right now is sat 2 jo aapka uh, bio ka paper bhi hota hai chemistry ka bhi hota hai physics ka bhi hota hai and there are different for example companies that have books for each sat 2 preparation um, process so there's barons there's kaplan and there's princeton and i personally use them and i think they were the make a big reason for me getting into AQ because I feel um a lot of people will complain you know कि इतना ज़्यादा content है दो सालों का content है how do we like summarize it I think the sad two books do a brilliant job out of that and secondly मुझे लगता है कि the end of chapter questions and the practice test they have जिस तरह ईमान ने mention किया था the AQ questions are very analytical आप exam में जितना भी पढ़ के चले जाएंगे ना वन यू गोन दी एग्जाम यू रियलाइज कि थोड़ा आपको सोचना पड़ रहा है इट्स नॉट के इट्स अ फिल इन द ब्लैंक क्वेश्चन यू हैव टू थिंक अबाउट ईच स्टेटमेंट वाई इट माइट बी ट्रू और नॉट ट्रू सो उसकी वजह से आई फील कि सैड टू रियली होन्स वन स्किल्स एंड नंबर टू आई फील यू नो वन पीपल शुड डू इट इन अ वेरी टाइम्ड मैनर रैदर दैन जस्ट लाइक प्रैक्टिसिंग इट बिकॉज वन थिंग आई थिंक एवरी वन विल अग्री इन दिस रूम टाइमिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट द एक यू एग्जाम आई हैव सीन सो मेनी पीपल that literally struggle because of time even though they might know the concepts but end mid time but stay in here and they can't attempt a good chunk of the paper so do you want to comment about the time and how uh, one should for example make sure to pace himself well time management to aapki jo practice hoti hai even i like wasn't uh, i was not able to like complete the paper and and me i had to like uske uh, liye again साइंस पोर्शन होता है और साइंस का वो होता है मैथ्स मैथ्स एंड रीजनिंग पोर्शन होता है so काफ़ी बच्चे जो है मैथ्स पोर्शन को जो है पहले कर लेते हैं एंड उसके ऊपर टाइम स्पेंड कर लेते हैं और फिर आप साइंस पोर्शन को क्योंकि नेगेटिव मार्किंग होती है उसमें वो तो क्या नहीं मार सकते तो इट्स ऑलवेज बेटर लाइक फॉर मी आई डिट द साइंस पोर्शन फर्स्ट एंड मैथ्स पोर्शन में अगर कुछ रह भी गए थे तो उसमें तो क्या मैंने मार दिया बिकॉज उसके अंदर नेगेटिव मार्किंग तो दिस इज बहुत ज़्यादा बच्चे पूछते भी हैं कि पहले कौन सा पोर्शन करना चाहिए 
तो ये इस तरीके से आप टाइम मैनेजमेंट का काम करेंगे एक और चीज दैट आई लाइक टू ऐड इज के मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम ये होता है कि हम कैलकुलेशंस करने बैठते हैं सो लाइक यू गाइस मेंशन एट एस ऑफ द कैलकुलेटर्स अलाउड नहीं है सो दैट लीड्स टू यू डूइंग ऑल द वर्किंग ऑन पेपर तो उसकी प्रैक्टिस के लिए वी नीड टू प्रैक्टिस मैथ क्वाइट अ लॉट सो लाइक यू मेंशन एट एस ऑफ द देयर सैट वन एंड देन दैट सैट टू सैट टू इज अ फोर्स फॉर द साइंसेस बट सैट वन कैन यू आल्सो हैव द मैथ का सेक्शन so not only will you will it help you prepare for the math reasoning uh, section that we have and the 20 mcq is on it but even in physics or chemistry whatever formulas that we have to apply or whatever calculations that we have to do to skin a root ki value ho gayi ya whatever um simplification that we have to do if you practice math alongside your aq preparation for the sciences it will really help you shorten your time firstly and also help you out in the math reasoning section That's a very valid point. I feel a lot of people approach us that okay, we are going to study science, so we will prepare. But maths and um, scientific reasoning is what we are worried about. So I will highlight this once again. That, um, for example, if you have given your maths in A levels, then I think it's going to be a very breeze and a walk in the park for you because at the end, it's very basic questions. Mm-hmm. It's not something that you have to formulate or write down that sine, cos, tan is equal to what. But then again, you know, for example, if you have not done maths, nahi bhi rakha, but just if, for example, if you have a very sharp mind and if you feel that you know um, you can solve questions on the spot, um, things should work out. So you should focus on your sciences primarily because there is negative marking there and there are questions that are a little more difficult. Maths and scientific reasoning, for um, do the SAT one book maybe. What I did was that I used to do one paper every day. So उस तरह मैं जो ना for example अगर मेरे पास एक महीना तो I did so many practice tests कि मेरी अच्छी खासी एक maths की practice हो गई थी. Um, I think we should move on about this. So the next question um, is के आगे जाके तो for example आपने AQ का test pass कर लिया and then um, AQ sends over a stage two form and जो basically आप fill करते हैं and उसके बाद आपका interview होता है. So can you cover a bit about the stage two form? I think it has a lot of um, Uh, sections made, you know, for example, hobbies are like that, debates are like that, sports are like that. So a lot of people are worried about this, you know, that we don't have enough extracurriculars. So uh, should people be worried? What should they do about this? So far now, first of all, attention, just please, please, on your ATM test, you know, who clear will be, will be after stage two form. Without clearing the uh, test, you don't have to focus on stage two form. Obviously, clearing, you know, obviously, yeah. you don't have to do that. लेकिन यस इट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट और उसके लिए एक्स्ट्रा करिकुलर एक्टिविटीज वगैरह होनी चाहिए एंड लेकिन अगर नहीं भी है तो अभी स्ट्रेस आउट नहीं करो वो बाद में हो जाएगा लाइक यू गेट यू गेट वन मंथ आफ्टर योर टेक यू टेस्ट एंड यू कैन That counts. और अगर आपकी पर्सनैलिटी पर कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ रहा एक्टिविटीज के जितना भी नंबर हो सो बहुत बच्चे होते हैं जो रिलेक्ट होते हैं So basically, हाँ जो भी आप activity डाल डाल रहे हो, you should be able to talk about it. और लगे कि आप सही में उसमें interested हो, so you can you know convince your interviewer later. So it's more like quality over quantity. Yeah. I know, for example, a lot of people um, who actually kept a couple of sections blank and they still got in. So I feel just like we talked about, we have quality over quantity. So for example, even if you're lacking, for example, somewhere. If the other section that you fill in and you fill it very well and you show, you know, that I just only for example CV के लिए नहीं कर रहा था, but I was doing it for actually passion and determination. Then I think things work out. And at the end, just like Iman has mentioned, that if you rack your brains enough, you have done something. Literally, AQ gives an example that if you have done sports, you have done nothing. So if you have played in the society, you have played cricket, even that can work. But that has to show, you know, for example, that I have cricket shock, and that's why I was playing with the uh, the gully ke bache, or for example, in my society or in some academy nearby. So that's a very valid point. Uh, I think Emma can ask the next question. Yeah, so I believe we have covered uh, the whole admission process. So let's talk about AQ and its financial system, the fee structure. Are there any accommodations offered by AQ? So first of all, AQ has a neat blind admission policy. So, I mean, they don't look at your financial status. Okay. After that, there are other provisions. Uh, they have a financial aid program. Uh, financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a financial aid program. Okay. And they have other provisions. They have a Right, so it's not something related to merit. It's only needs. It's, it's, it's only needs. Yes. Yes. yes, and it can be in the form of loans and as well. And how often do they give out these? So I guess most of the students are like 
uh, on the oh. aid, financial aid. So it's a good thing. There's no set number, but I feel that AQ does talk about you know how a lot of its students are on at least aid, uh, if not for example okay. complete scholarship. Back to that, ha, scholarships ke liye they do look at merit, but uh, as you said, aid ke liye they do not consider your merit yeah. at all. Only your financial okay. status. So scholarship basically means that your, for example, jitni entire fees hai, that gets. Sledged off, right? Yes. While, for example, aid and loans means that you have to, for example, ten percent, twenty percent, shy, tena pade, and the rest is, for example, covered by AQ, right? So I think we're coming to the end of this entire talk, and I feel um, it was very helpful and beneficial. Yeah. So my last question from all of us, actually, because Emma is also 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 passed the AQ test, and so have I. That what tips and tricks would you suggest to any student who might be preparing for the AQ test and the interview this year? So first of all. It- तो the most overwhelming thing is stress itself. तो उसके मायनस करने आने चाहिए. तो उसके लिए first of all what I used to do is to have a schedule. Even though हम बोलते हैं कि schedule बनाते हैं, it doesn't work out. Just a surety that you have कि it is possible to cover that big of a syllabus in the given time. और surety के लिए उस hope के लिए at least you can make a schedule for yourself. उसके अलावा I also used to I am someone who panics in the exam room itself. तो उसको मैनेज करने के लिए परहाप्स हैंडल योर ब्रीदिंग एक्चुअली प्रैक्टिस द बॉस ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट हाउ आई सेइंग सो दैट यू कैन एक्चुअली फील दैट प्रेशर योरसेल्फ बिफोर द एग्जाम डे एंड एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दैट यू कैन लर्न हाउ टू मैनेज इट बेटर और यू कैन लर्न फ्रॉम योर एक्सपीरियंसेस सो थैंक यू एंड या सो बेसिकली या फिर जैसे एफएससी वालों के अभी पेपर्स अभी ओवर होने वाले हैं सो एफएससी वाले बहुत ज्यादा परेशान होते हैं कि हम तो ए लेवल से वगैरह कर नहीं सकते वो बहुत मुश्किल सवाल होता है एफएससी वाले जो भी हम पहले रिलैक्स करो एंड क्योंकि जो है अभी सारा सिलेबस कवर कर लिया तो रिलैक्स करो और ये नीड टू डूट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस लॉट ऑफ प्रैक्टिस फॉर दी क्वेश्चन एंड देन वी वेबसाइट हमारी प्रीमा डॉट पी के उस पर जो है बहुत ज्यादा सवाल है की प्रैक्टिसिंग फ्री एक्सेस है एंड इफ यू नीड एक्सप्लेनेशन हम लोग वो भी कर सकते हैं एंड देन जो भी अभी क्योंकि ये बहुत ही लिमिटेड अमाउंट वो थी हमारी जो वीडियो है बहुत ज्यादा छोटी है एंड सारी गाइडेंस नहीं हो सकती देन यू कैन लाइक गो टू अवर ब्लॉग पेज वहाँ पे सारी इन्फॉर्मेशन डिटेल में है एंड यू कैन गो टू दैट एंड लाइक वो पूरा वहाँ पे Yeah, but anything to add? Yeah, just don't forget to relax. You know, wind up every now and then because it's over. It's overall a very overwhelming process. It's exhausting. It's draining. It's mentally, you know, it destroys you. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, Hasan, you wanna add something? Just close it off. So I'll go on a different tangent because many coffee logos have talked about that. Admission is, and they all say that just Allah pe bhrosa rakho. A lot of the times, yeah. for example, um, you get a tuka in maths, and that works out, and your admission will be good. And sometimes, for example, you get two or three tuka in maths, and because of that, because of negative marking, you will not get it. So just um, remain faithful. Just you know, for example, always, for example, when you go into the exam, be calm, be peaceful. You know, for example, it is a very tough exam. It's gonna get you on your nerves. for sure that's guaranteed but then if you keep deep, uh, taking deep breaths for example if you know you know ki aapne acha khasa prepare kiya you for example spend a good chunk of time for example in your as and a2 or for example in your um 11 and 12th grade prepare for prepare for this exam then things will work out um at the end thank you everyone for tuning in thank you to all three of you and ahmed for coming in um i hope it was beneficial and if you have any the questions you can always add it in the comment box or you can always message us on the instagram and facebook channel of premed.pk as taha rightly mentioned we also have blogs written on our website which talk about the aq test the aq interview and the entire timeline of the aq admission process so you can always check them out um, we'll also try to add it the link in the description so you can also access it over there um take care thank you so much allah office